On March 3rd, 2015, the Fairfax County Board of Supervisors established the Ad Hoc Police Practices Review Commission. And the chair votes aye and the motion carries. The Ad Hoc Police Practices Commission was created after we had a difficult case, uh, a, you know, a tragic case. We had the John Gere shooting, uh, which uh, I think um, had a lot of people in the county say, hey, should we stop and take a look at where we are? There was an extended period before much information about that became public. It wasn't until, let's say, January 2015, person to court order that the police department and the county released any information. There had not been uh, an appropriate amount of transparency about what was going on during the investigation in the aftermath of the shooting. We realized that we needed to make some changes. So it was not just to the police, but it was really also how our county government operates. The whole ad hoc commission was about that uh, and we identified, I was a member of that commission, a number of um, suggestions for best practices. I think the key to the whole thing was the change in the use of force policy. Of the more than 200 recommendations made by the ad hoc commission to the Board of Supervisors, the adoption of a dual civilian oversight system comprised of an independent police auditor and a civilian review panel is expected to have the greatest sustained impact. As mandated by the Board of Supervisors, the independent police auditor reviews and monitors internal affairs investigations into certain use of force incidents. Any officer involved shooting, any use of force by a Fairfax County police officer which results in someone's death or serious injury, and finally any use of force uh, which is accompanied by a uh, public complaint. And the other role is in conjunction with the reviews of these internal investigations uh, to make policy recommendations moving forward. Critical to the role of the independent police auditor is the unique perspective of law enforcement experience and expertise. Part of my jurisdiction, if you will, is automatic. So I know if there's an officer involved shooting, that is a case that is subject to the auditor's review. And I think the thought process was even better, let the auditor monitor the investigation as it is proceeding. The goal of the civilian oversight is to ensure that the investigation is being done uh, appropriately, accurately, objectively, impartially, uh, all very important features of a, a, an object of investigation. The Civilian Review Panel reviews completed internal police department investigations from the broad perspective of a diverse county citizenry. Our charge is to review investigations that the police have completed um, once a citizen has raised a complaint about uh, about an investigation. So the complainant can come before the panel, tell their story, give us an idea of why they were unsatisfied with the investigation. Um, we also have an opportunity to hear from the police department. We have the authority to ask the, through the Board of Supervisors, to ask the police to do more. On the auditor side, there really is a need for a level of expertise. What the panel does, though, in having that civilian review gives the public an opportunity to participate in a way that would not happen if it was simply all left to an uh, independent police auditor who is a county employee. As Fairfax County's dual police oversight system matures, civilians will have a growing role in evolving their own police department's use of force policies and practices. The primary goal is transparency, openness and transparency. And that's an overarching objective of any government agency. It might be more important for a police agency to be transparent than any other government agency out there. So what this does is it gives us an opportunity to see if in reviewing investigations, the policy and practices are working, and if not, 
And through those investigations, we learn, we can make the recommendations, and then the police department or the Board of Supervisors can then consider if, if there are some further things that are needed. I think that people will see that the county is really trying to address uh, concerns that they may have about police transparency and police conduct. So it is a way of kind of bolstering confidence overall in, in, in the system. And hopefully that knowledge, appreciation, and understanding will create much more public trust in the community as it relates to the police department. What will happen is also the police department, knowing that residents are, are giving that look over the shoulder, will be even more attuned to making sure that you know, they're reviewing their own better, and that's a positive thing. I think that the, those, two, those two entities uh, will prove to be valuable in making sure that people feel well served. That's really what all this is about, is that this is a place that we want to be. We're fortunate, so fortunate in Fairfax County to have the schools, the amenities, the opportunities that we have. And we have to preserve that. It's ours to preserve and it's ours to make better.